Yasser Saeed was a man who sought control. And when he didn't have it, prosecutors said he killed his daughters. We have an eyewitness to the crime. Sarah Saeed tells you who her killer is. A mother listening to those last words. She's screaming out from the grave right now. He's here, he did it. Sarah shot nine times, her sister Amina twice, both found in a cab on New Year's Day in 2008. Their father, Yasser Saeed, nowhere to be found and on the run for 12 years. He ran because he knew he was guilty. Their father's attorney sought to put the investigation itself on trial, telling jurors police did shoddy work. This is insulting to the memory of Amina and Sarah. Day earlier, Saeed admitted he was angry Sarah and Amina had been dating. In my culture, it's something to get upset about. He denied killing them, testifying someone was following them. He'd gotten scared and abandoned his daughters in the cab. That's not what happened. It is not logical. It doesn't make any sense. It is absurd. The jury agreed. We, the jury, unanimously find the defendant, Yasser Saeed, guilty. A verdict sending Yasser Saeed to prison for life. There is no honor in killing two unarmed people. I call that being a coward. His former wife staring down the man she says abused her and the girls. You're a devil. You murdered your girls. As she spoke, Saeed wasn't having it. At this time, you are nothing. You are a prisoner. You are a murderer and the devil. And his former wife says the devil got his due. In Dallas, I'm Tanya Iser.